probably the most expensive driving range piece of real estate in the world. All right, guys, we're here at the Sea Island Golf Performance Center. It's one of the leading golf performance centers in the whole entire world. And in a minute, you're gonna see why. We're gonna go meet our host, Justin Parsons, who's gonna give us a tour of this epic facility. Let's follow along, come on. Justin, uh, great to have you. Nice to meet you, thanks Cheers. for having us. You make a birdie over there on 18 when you finished? I putted for birdie, but I made par. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. Well, you're very welcome, Sea Island Golf Performance Center. We opened in 2019. Uh, we're pretty proud of it. We've got something here for everybody and we uh, try and give them a great golf experience along the way. Love it. I've heard only great things about this place. I'm dying to get inside. All right, come on. Let me show you around. All right, so what is this? Beautiful little merchandise area. Um, you know, we got, we got all sorts of things here from apparel, Sea Island golf bags, things that we can, we can sell you from, uh, from the fittings that you've had downstairs to golf shoes to instruction aids. And we've been very fortunate. We have some guys on the staff here who've actually written their own books. Randy Myers on oh, golf cool. fitness and mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Morris Pickens on like golf performance and things like that. So, you know, if you're in the mood to spend some money, we got something here for you. It looks like it. it. Looks like a lot of great stuff up here. Look at this room. Putting, you can't escape it here. Hey, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. This is David Frank. Frank. How are you? David Angelotti is our putting expert here. Uh, works under Phil Kenyon. What we have here is Zen Green Stage. So Zen Green Stage has continuous motion for their four actuators. So we have two actuators that are on the north end, two actuators are on the south end. And we can level it to its typical. So it has a level and then it has a level at midpoint. So when we use putt view, we're gonna level at midpoint. So let's say we wanted to do a planar slope. So we'll do a planar right to left putt. So we'll go just like this. So now the entire surface is gonna move up to its mid level and then tilt the north and south side from right to left. And then what we can do is we can turn putt view on. So putt view is a projection system that will accurately display how that, that putt's going to break with those coordinates that I just put, put into the system. This so, is like, I thought I've seen it all. We'll go wow. 2%. <laughs> so now, this is showing you the aim point or the aiming line, so where the ball needs to start on its trajectory, and then the path that the ball's going to take to the hole relative okay. to that. And that's set right now at one foot past speed. So if you have a certain speed that you like to hit it, so let's say you like to dead weight your putts in or dial them in, well, we can set it to, <laughs> to that speed as well. That's nuts. And so depending on the player's personality, right, how they like to think about it, do they think about it linear, non-linear, or a combination, we can then set and do all of that. So putt view is a really versatile system because let's say someone stands farther away from the ball. Well, I can move that. Let's say they need to get the ball position more back or forward in their stance. Mm -hmm. You can move that. You can rotate it from right to left like that, okay? You can put a movable trajectory on the green. So now that's the actual speed that the ball is gonna take as it hits, hits that putt. We could also say, like, show you how the ball is going to roll on the surface uh -huh. relative to that. I gotta imagine Tor Pro spent a lot of time in this room. Yeah, so we, we have upwards of like 10 touring professionals right now. Mm -hmm. And so what they like to come do is they like to test their biases. Right? Okay. So a bias is just, do you aim right? Do you aim left? Do you tend to send the ball right? Do you tend to send the ball left? Mm -hmm. And so what they come in is they want to know what their biases are on breaking putts. Does their bias stay stable across all different putt types? And then how do they practice better to then do that. And so this movable surface and green combo really helps them to do that. Okay, looks like the fitness center. You know, a bigger, bigger part of, of golf performance really has now been physical health and mm -hmm. understanding that you can only really swing the golf club in the way that your body's able to swing the golf club. So we've got two full-time golf fitness professionals here who can help the instructors to make sure that you know potentially your shoulder mobility or your hip mobility needs mm -hmm. to be improved plus just good you know good strength and conditioning um, which is required for for all sports and more and more so golf with how far people are hitting it and right. how fast they're hitting it and how many mm -hmm. shots they have to hit so you know Tom here for example he works with he works with Harris English he works with Michael Thompson um, you know we got a, a really really good uh, roll call, if you like, of tour players here. And, you know, and then that mid-range, we've got Brian Harmon, who I help, Paris English, who I help, Patton Kazire, you know, and, and a group of really, really good lads and really good players who kind of 
they stay competitive and they needle each other, but they're good friends at the same yeah, time. That's great. So Davis Love's father was, t was a teaching professional here. Mm -hmm. And Davis Love was born and brought up here. And Jack Lumpkin has been our kind of legendary director of instruction. He passed away last year, oh. age of 86, still teaching on the last day. Wow. Um, so we put this, this is the Lumpkin Library, which um, houses Jack's golf bag next to Davis, who was his, you know, most notable student, I guess, over the course of a very long career, and sure. Brian Harmon, who had his first ever golf lesson here when he was 11 years old. And in here we've got, you Here's know, your books. Yeah. I was fortunate when I came, I came here four years ago and, and uh, Brian kind of needed someone to be on the road with him a little bit. So Jack and I kind of shared the, shared the load of helping Brian. Um, so I got to get to know Jack probably, you know, more than I would have done um, had I just come as a, as a teacher. And, you know, he told me he had a, he had a, a, a golf, I guess it would have been like a, a little ceremonial match and he played with Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas, and Gary Player on that day in 1965. Yeah, look at that. You can see him teaching President George, I think it's H. Butch. H. Yep. H. Yeah, Bush, yep. isn't it? Um, and you know, he had an incredible life in golf. He won the Jack Nicholas Golf Family of the Year Award for the Lumpkin family. Up on the wall here, we've got, you know, some of the great players who um, hone their craft here and, uh, and play out of here. So we got young Gary Higo is a very nice young South yeah. African player who's, who's moved here. JT Poston, fabulous player. Keith Mitchell, you know, playing well these days. I've, I've been from, great for me to, to, to be on a, okay, an American Ryder Cup side for Harris English, being a, a Northern Irishman. It was a little bit weird being on the American yeah. team, but uh, <laughs> it, was a, it was a big thrill and it was made to feel very welcome nonetheless. So apparently there's a lot more fun to this place downstairs. Let's take a look. Hello, oh, Chops. How are we doing? Hey, how are you? Okay. Well, thank you. How's it going? Good. How are you? Excellent. Marshall and Joe, so club guys? fitting Hi, and assistant Michael. Professional. Nice to meet you. Hey. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. Marshall, nice to meet you. And from my side, I'd never seen a, as big a club fitting operation in all my years in, in golf. And these guys, there are a lot of full time club fitters here, and Marshall's one of them who's joined us. So, yes. yeah. So take us through. If I'm like a 12 handicap, 10 handicap, I'm coming in. Yeah. What do we do? Absolutely. So we like to say that we are brand agnostic in terms of like we don't try to pigeonhole anybody into a certain brand. And as you can see all around you, we have pretty much every brand too with all the different flexes and whatnot. Um, but we utilize TrackMan and we, we utilize the bays with bad weather, but we like to be outside on the grass, especially mm -hmm. with the irons. Um, and we just try to get people to work with whatever's the best for them. Sure. So you're getting people dialed in in oh. here. We change lives around here. And I bet. Next on our list. Ooh. We, well, a, we know these lights. We have these very, cameras. We have a very cool little office here. Um, and this this is our gears system. Yeah. You may have seen it before. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there are different types of uh, 3D motion capture available in golf. We've got electromagnetic um, and we've got optical systems like this. I'm sure not dissimilar to what they would use in like EA Sports and things to sure. make those avatars and what have you. Yep. We, we effectively will put um, anywhere up to, I think, 34 sensors on you and your golf club. You had a shot in front of these high-powered cameras and they generate an avatar and they can, they can help us understand how your body's moving it's through incredible. space, what's, what's going on. Um, this avatar is Rory McIlroy, who's got a driver in his hand, which is probably one of the coolest things in sport to watch Rory, yeah, absolutely. Rory hit driver. So if I, um, if I bring him up to the top of his backswing, for example, um, I can then tell you you know, how much rotation he's had through his pelvis, how much rotation he's had through his rib cage. Wow. Um, we, can, we can pretty much, through any point in the golf swing, accurately map where his body segments are and, and you know, how, how much they've moved and where they're going to. If you wanted to change, this is one of the great things about 3D, if you wanted to change the same golf swing and look at it from some different angles, even behind him or above him, or beneath him to see what his feet are doing. It can give people great different like images of what's going on. You can you can pull those images around and move them a little bit. So you know certainly it's been it's something that's that's you know ever more a part of what we do in our sport is to get uh, 3D motion capture done at certain times. For me with the tour players, if I can get them done in the off season, so to speak, and, and make sure that if I can get them done also when they're doing really well, because mm -hmm. if I can get the stuff when they're really good and things start to go wrong a little bit, then at least if I can start to compare it with you know, when it was really, really good. And everyone's fingerprint, everyone's 3D is very different. And sure. there's certainly no one way to swing the golf club. We, we admire the likes of McElroy hits a driver so well, we can see how, 
Um, the likes of Harris English hits an eight iron beautifully and we can, we can start to then tap into some of that information to help, help some of our regular players. Okay, so this would be kind of like my day-to-day -day office, if you like, if we, you know, we're, we're selective in our, our gears captures when we need to. I don't have a bad view. No, you think. don't. Wow. It's okay, isn't it? So effectively in here, we have three cameras, uh, face on, face on left-handed or behind the player right-handed mm -hmm. and a down the line camera. Um, powerful cameras that can pick up, the, pick up the golf club and we have a trackman device running at all times. We just, we just have it running so we can, you know, if you then say to me, okay, my, my, my flight looks like it's come down a little bit, I can flick on the trackman and say, yeah. Like yeah. your flights come down by 15 feet or, or whatever that may be. Um, and the swing catalyst system also helps us just to understand where players' pressure is being put in their and in, in through the ground during different parts of their golf swing. And of course, you know, that really gives us an accurate um, understanding of, of how they're generating movement. So, you know, we force precedes movement. So once they're putting force into the floor, then the movement is an occurrence after that. So we can, you know, we can map out pressure. We can, we can help to instruct you using video. I've got one of the, the very exciting young tour players that I helped, Will Gordon, um, on, the, on the screen here. And we can see we can take his golf swing to different, different parts, different places. Um, if I look at his impact position right here, um, and then put the, uh, the data up, we can tell you that he's got just under 80% of his pressure on his lead side a little bit left on his trail side, and we can see where his center of balance has moved through the golf swing. You know, you can really get a deep understanding of what's going on to your golf swing. You can come in here, do some captures, go out onto this beautiful driving range we have to get some work done, come back in here and compare it. And that's quite often the way that, that I would work. You know, we would get some initial stuff done in here, get out, hit some shots off the turf, make it a little bit more realistic. Um, and then come back in here and make sure that we're moving in the right direction. So you have resort guests, you have tour pros, there's some local college kids, but the average Joe like me up in New Jersey, can I just book a lesson, fly down here and do mm -hmm. whatever I got to do? Yeah. So anyone in the world can come here and use this. Yeah. And it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a big part of the, the, the culture here at Sea Island is just to make sure that we make people feel welcome. And, you know, certainly we want people who are, are wanting to, to improve their games and take their games mm -hmm. to that next level. And uh, we're fortunate to get a lot of, a lot of people coming down and, and a lot of repeat business. Um, so, you know, it's a, big, it's a big thrill to work here. I, I do a lot of weeks on the road on the PGA Tour as well. But I must say, whenever, I, uh, whenever I'm reminded of the view and uh, I come home, it's, uh, it's a nice place to come home to. Yeah, it sure is. So right in here is where they will build, make sure that things are correct. In the case of a good young player here like Chris, he looks like he's getting a lie check or a loft and lie check. Um, so you know whether it's a really, really good player um, who needs to make sure his equipment is absolutely perfect and maybe changing from travel and a lot of practice, um, or whether it's people who are, who are using our club fitting service and having things that will need checked and things when they come in. This is where the boys and the, they do all the magic. All right, so where to now? Well, I think it'd be nice for you guys to see, you know, the, the indoor facilities are great. We obviously can do a lot of diagnostics and analyzing things, but you know, where the really a, real action takes place a lot of times is out in the range. Um, we want to make sure that we're, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're treating golf as it is, which is a sport with a lot of variables, wind, yeah. a, lot of, um, a lot of different lies, a lot of different things can happen. So I'm going to take you up to the, to the back of the range here where we'll see a lot of the best players in the world at work. Well, probably the most expensive driving range piece of real estate in the world. That's, that sounds cool. That's kind of a bit of a golf nerd, I remember. The old V1, which is the video analysis system, had Davis Love hitting a shot face on with the ocean behind him. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought that must be a really cool place where he's practicing. <laughs> um, and that was 20 years ago and I find myself working here. So uh, mm. this is, uh, he was actually hitting from the other side of the range, but we've got, you know, 270 degrees of, of teeing area back here. Um, from the from right at the front of the lodge where you probably would have warmed up today yes. to play the golf course mm -hmm. all the way around so if we needed a if we needed a specific kind of wind direction to test a player if we needed to create some sort of uncomfortable situation in a in a fairway or, or create a, 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 a pin location for them you know we can pretty much do it from up here so we get a really nice view of the of the performance center looking back um, plenty of targets always breezy up here and I think it's one of the reasons they produce so many good players here because 
you know, no two days are the same. We got that kind of linksy feel to it. We got uh -huh. some really calm, bright, quiet days, and we get some really pretty torrid weather at times as well. And that can that can really help in a golfer's development when you're getting used to wind conditions, playing in a little bit of cold in the winter, um, and getting used to the heat of the summer. Yeah. There's a kind of a Europeanness to that that uh, that the guys get here, which uh, suits me pretty well. No, we're very lucky. You know, we've got the, the performance center caters for. For pretty much everything we need with with golf and then when we can bring the guys back here and, and put them to their tests and make sure what we're doing inside is, is stacking up under pressure it, it can be really helpful so i'm so glad you guys made the trip and it's been lovely to show you around this has been awesome we appreciate it very much thanks so much Mike. thanks justin